Okay, you guys, so Cardi B and Offset are separated and going through a divorce. So earlier today, she went live and spazzed out on Offset. I really don't like doing the internet. I really, really don't like doing the internet. But the sad thing is, stop calling me. You need to stop calling me. Because you will fucking talk to me and a motherfucker will play in your face, in your face, over and over and over and over and over again. And she'll be like, watch. Watch what I'm about to do. Watch what I'm about to say. And this sad that a yo, this motherfucker really likes to play games with me when I'm at my most vulnerable time. When I when I'm not the most confident. They like he likes to play games with me because he knows I'm not an easy girl. He, he knows yesterday I could have been out, I could have been chilling, I could have been this and that. He knows I'm in my house. He knows that I'm chilling. He knows I'm not doing the most. And I've really been sparing you. I've really been sparing you. You've been Telling yourself you because of your album and shit, and you really been doing me dirty after so many years that I'm up your ass. Not even a thank you that I got for your. And it's so crazy that I gotta go to the internet because whenever I tell you something, you don't take seriously. And I'm so tired of it. I'm so tired of this. So when Nikki noticed all this was going on, she thought it was a good idea to poke fun at Cardi B's pain. So she posted MJ on her Twitter. Now, y'all know Offset loves MJ, okay? So this was in reference to him. Now Cardi B responded and she said, take your man to the park and leave me the F alone. I'm really a hundred today is not the day. And then Nikki sarcastically reposted her lyrics. Now she has a song out with Keisha Cole and Monica called Love Me Enough. So it said, first things first, all my girls know your worth. Self love is the greatest love on earth. Cry your eyes out, get it out. It's the worst, but love don't hurt. And then she said, Barb's trend, hashtag love me enough, hashtag gag city deluxe out now. And people responded by saying things like, dang, Nicki out here making one of the best female rap albums, selling all these records, and Cardi out here crying over a dude. Nicki would never, Cardi get it together, sheesh. Grow up, you're married to a offender and a grapist. 40 year old granny still rapping about P, married to a thug and a offender, not a rap queen in my books. But I do want to know what you guys feel about this. How do you feel about Nikki mocking Cardi B's pain? Now, I'm not a fan of nobody mocking any type of pain a woman is going through with a man because we've all been there, okay? We've all been hurt. We've all been pushed to that point. So I'm not really here for it, but that's my opinion. I do want to know what you guys feel about all of this. So leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll talk to you later.